Nigga fanned up low seven. Who up? You good? I'm alive, I'm beefing. Shot this shit. Who up? Nigga, shot this shit. Who up? Nigga, fuck your head, man. Shot this shit. Who up? I know you have a, a, a definite date, obviously, but is there like a time frame you think? A year, two years, what? I think they say right now, um, half of the end of end of like next year, something like that, early two thousand eighteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, that, that's that's the halfway. And, and don't get it twisted, y'all. When he's in the halfway house, it's still limited. You know what I'm saying? So don't think you won't see him all over the scene. Yeah. You know, he's at this event. He's at. It doesn't work like that. You know what I'm saying? But he'll be having a piece of his life back, which is a good thing. That's most important. You know what I'm saying? All his regular life and getting back into the groove of being outside is way more important than battle rap. But when it's even time for him to get out of that, <laughs> that's where he's going to be. You know what I'm saying? We're going to make sure we, we make it like that man never skipped a beat, man. Never skipped a beat. And hopefully y'all don't duck him when he comes out. I'm, I'm going to say it early. Oh, Ray, we need that. We need that. Adi Boone's been wanting mm. you for over a year. When he comes home, I think mm. that, that that is a crazy matchup. And you would be the man for taking that battle. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm not trying to say you, you would duck him or nothing like that. Old Red, you one of the nicest niggas in the game. But that would be crazy for you to take Adi Boom when he comes home. So I'm putting that on, on the interview right now because I know that's what Boom wants when he comes home. Old Red versus Adi Boom, hopefully, as soon as he touches. On Blood Sweat, hey, here's part nine. Yo, <laughs> hey, yo, my, nigga, my nigga is dying. Yo. Hey, yo, yo. Yo, 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 Shada, what you smoking right now, B? This is that super sour and fucking gorilla glue combo. Smokers, okay. Yo, smokers, okay. no, smokers, okay. no smokers cost. You hear that shit? Yeah. I know he wasn't shit. Yeah, yeah come I know on, he wasn't I, shit. Yo, I, I smoke, my nigga. I, I know a smoker, be. <laughs> yo, <laughs> come fuck with us. Come fuck with us. Get out nice. You know what I'm oh, saying? Come fuck with us. Y'all niggas know how I give it up. I be in the back right. fucking choking and smoking with my fans and my supporters and the battlers. Just having a good time. Everybody getting relaxed and chill. Everybody come out, have a good time. Come support us. Come support the battlers. Come support yourself. Come have a good time. It's a lot nice. Club drum. Plus, when here's folk. Hey, Ricky McGee, hey, yo, shout out to you. Out. You just I'm posted about, up Body Boom on Old Red. I see you, homie. I'm in the group. So, sup? Shout out to you. Hey, yo, I'm about to go real left with this one. Shout out. I hope you're smoking. All right? Mm-hmm. All right? <laughs> I'm a fan. All right? Look, 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 look. Real shit. I'm a fan. Right? So mm-hmm. if I got my last dollar, where am I going to? RBE or URL? Tell me why I'm going to your event. You come at our event because that's your choice as a person, and that's the thing. <laughs> as a free, oh, everybody God. has free reign to do what they want to do. All we could do is RBE, and hopefully the people that come see RBE is because they want to come see the, see what we got to offer. That's it. We don't want nobody to come for no other reason. Just come fuck with us because you want to oh, fuck God. with us, and that's it. All RBE is here to do is RBE. That's from day one to whenever. None of is contrary to okay, public okay, belief. Okay. We're not as emotional. <laughs> we're not as emotional as people <laughs> think we are. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we don't make moves off of emotions and shit. Like, contrary to public belief. Uh, like, I see a lot of shit look like it happens off of emotion these days. Right. Y'all talk about it. crazy, though. Yeah, you know but, 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 I mean, but, but, I mean, you but, know why, but, you, know why but, you come but, from I mean, us? Because I you want to see Big K don't call it. show off. You want to see QB versus official. You want to see Mr. Mills versus there JC. You, you want to see Sirius Jones versus fucking Jims. You want to see Jay Murder versus Daylight. That's why you come to RBE. Blood, sweat, and tears for a July knife. You want, you want, you want, you want to know why? Hold go. on, let, let, Cass, Cass, Cass let, let me say this. It, it sucks that any fan actually has to make that choice. You know what I'm saying? It sucks that you have to ask that Bad. question. You know what I'm saying? Like that. That Bad. that's whack. That that's that's whack. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sure there's somebody out there that says they want to see both events live and all that, and you'll never get the opportunity. So you'll get an opportunity to see all the battles drop on YouTube. But everybody that goes to live events knows that there's nothing that you can compare to a live event, not even the footage. No matter how good your production is, you can never compare to live energy in a crowd. You know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. at the end of the day, it is what it is. Like, you can't, there's nothing to complain about. You know what I'm saying? As a fan, the upside to it is crazy day for battle rap. You know what I'm saying? And if you are a battle rap cool. fan or if you're anywhere located close to Manhattan, you better be somewhere. <laughs> Yo, listen, hold on. We, we, this you is some New York shit, right? How many times have the fucking Yankees and the Mets played? Mm. All right. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, that's right what it is. 
Look, look, look. That's what it is. You want to know so crazy? You want to know so crazy? And this is probably the part that a lot of people tuned in for. I seen comments. I seen tweets. Like, yo, I want to see ARP's face. I know he's fuming right now. He's holding up the choppers right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know what these motherfuckers be thinking, man. Listen, nobody owns July 9th. Nobody owns New York. Nobody owns Battle Rap. Nobody. You know what I'm saying? You want to find the owners of Battle Rap, you better go back to, like, Kumo D or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's any league that claims to be the leaders, or even if that was us, or fucking Grill of Warfare, anybody, you could find people that have done it before them. You know what I'm saying? And that's not to take nothing away from nobody. You know what I'm saying? It's like July 9th for any league that has an event. It should be just another day in the office. So for us, it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, we will be shooting trailer footage on July 9th for the card that we're going to announce shortly after. You know what I'm saying? Like for us, like okay. like it, it's not gonna it's not gonna stop anything. It's it's not. We have a job to do on July 9th. RBE has a job to do July 9th. Every battle rapper that's on the card, you know what I'm saying, took the took the contract because they want and their deposit because they wanted to be a part of Blood Sweat and Tears Four. So technically, they have a job to do too, and we fuck with them for fucking with us. And their fans, fans of Big K. Fans of Show Off, fans of Daylight, fans of Jay Murder, fans of Sirius Jones, fans of Jims, fans of Official, fans of QB, fans of JC, fans of Mr. Mills. Those are the fans that should be at Club Drama at 2 o'clock on July 9th. Don't, don't worry about RBE and URL from that namesake, so to speak, because you want to know what? I would be the asshole if I turned around and said it was about RBE, Right? The, the the fans, hundreds of people ain't coming to RBE events to see Shot the ARP. If that was the case, we wouldn't spend thousands of dollars booking the battlers. They're the ones with the following. They're the ones with the talent. We have a fucking hard, hard as shit job organizing all this and putting it together for y'all. The, our, our job is no walk in the park, and we're going to do our job. Not only are we going to do it, we're going to do it good like we always do. This is nothing different for us. But the fans of those battlers, that's what really counts. That's what really is going to make you choose what to do, you know what I'm saying, or where to go. And if you go, if you go to an RBE event on July 9th and you miss URL, you know what I'm saying, sorry that you were in that position, then make sure you catch the URL battles when they drop on YouTube. And if you go to URL's event and you wanted to possibly see RBE's card live and you had to miss one, you had to make a choice, you know what I'm saying, then hopefully you get to support and see the videos when they drop on RBE vids. Our channel, it's all good. We'll be back within possibly a month with another event, and you have an opportunity to come to that one. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, 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 it's all good. It's all mm-hmm. good. Like, shout out to the fans that are going to come out and support shout the event. Shout out to July 9th. Shout out to July 9th as a whole. Shout out to July 9th as a whole. Like, yo, this is, and this is exactly what we wanted is the fans to really be able to sit there and have good battles. All mm-hmm. around. That's the reason why RBE is here because we want to put our name in the pot too. We want to deliver good battles. That's yeah. it. We just want to yeah. contribute our part too. That's it. Let me yeah. let me you know, I, if I if part. I could if I could press a little bit, man. Um, because in one breath, you know, I I appreciate the fact that y'all are humble about the culture and everything y'all putting together. But on the other hand, I know y'all know what's going on out here and the and the competition that exists between you know battlers, leagues, platforms, what have you. And y'all seem kind of uh, like. I don't know. I don't know. Y'all, y'all walking that line a little bit, but at the end of the day, y'all want to have a yeah. best of the day, right? Say that again. Say that again. Say that again. Um, at the end of the because day, not, y'all not trying to have the best Because damn if we right? do, damn if we don't. If if we say something a certain way, then we emotional. If we react a certain, see, this is what we always want to say: is everything we do is our our personality. We always give off what you get. What you give us is what you get back. So sometimes when you see it looks like we being nitpicky, it's because it's what is being done to us. So sometimes yeah, they call my brother emotional. They call I don't Our main laid back shit, this is mainly us. We really calm and reserved. I don't, I don't, I don't mean to cut you off, Shata. I don't mean to cut you off, Shata, but, yo, the whole Angry Sam movement tuned in right now along with everybody else. Just look at our history, you know what I'm saying? The type of people that we are. We're, we're, we're good-hearted people. We do a lot a lot for people, and we get a lot in return. 
We fuck with a lot of people. A lot of people fuck with us. We're humble. We've always been and we've always pushed the culture as more of a, a unity thing. That's why we support so many leagues. You see me out here going to people's. I, we was just in Massacre. RBE was just in Massacre for King of the Dot a month ago. This past Friday, RBE members was just at Cortez's event, Tears Over Tears. You know what I'm saying? I was there. Dr. God was there. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Ted. Shout out to everybody that was there. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But that's how we are. That's how we've always been. You know, we always pay for people's events, even when they say we're free because they, they want to, you know, show us love or whatever. Now we support. You know what I'm saying? And it's not. it doesn't have to be about competition at that level. You know what I'm saying? There's always going to be competition, but some people just want to be the best. Some people just want that recognition. Put me top three. I got to be in your top three or else I'm, I got to talk about it a million times and make a million posts about it. Like, we don't give a fuck about that. You know what I'm saying? That's not how we got to where we are. Because you know what? At the, ma- at the end of the day, it's all of a matter of opinion. Let's yeah. say if, let's say if tomorrow yeah. everybody the consensus says RBE is number one. We don't get no award. We don't get no signing bonus there's for no that. No award at the end of the year. There's no there's signing no, bonus no for that. Award or extra check. The battle is the battle is they gonna give us no cheaper prices. The battle is they gonna say you know what? We're not charging y'all because y'all the top lead. And you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Hey, hey, yo, I need y'all to talk one at a time because y'all overlapping each other. You heard? Yeah, yeah, we got you. We got you. We got you. We got you. But, yeah, um, nah, yeah, nah, yeah. Okay. To the fans, everybody said you, you, y'all both talking at the same time, so they can't really hear what's going on. Oh, we got y'all. We got y'all. We got y'all. But, um, yeah, man, listen, competition will always be competition. You don't see too often mm-hmm. two big cards landing on the same day. You know what I'm saying? And usually that's that's <laughs> also another reason why we boldly step out there and we put out our dates. You know what I'm saying? Because we know there's a lot of platforms and leads that's also doing their things. You know what I'm saying? Like us when we see dates, you know, we don't we don't we don't land on them. And sometimes it could be an accident too. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm not even trying to point no fingers. Like I don't know niggas business like that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not even saying things is malicious. Who knows? You know what I mean? But we coordinate with as many lead owners as possible. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to L Wisdom, shout out to No Mercy, shout out to Gracie, shout out to King Fly from Kia Dot. Everybody that I just named we have moved dates for each other. Like, RBE and King of the Dot have moved around dates for each other. You know what I'm saying? You don't necessarily see Shotzer and Organic and Gully and all these guys talking all the time, but King Fly and, and ARP might, might jump in the DM real quick, be like, yo, what, what are you doing this weekend? What, 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 we're going to do same thing with El Wisdom and you do same thing with Gracie, same thing with, with Trap House. And it doesn't matter whether fans think that we bigger or smaller. You know what I'm saying? People might think that Trap House is, is maybe a little bit smaller than RBE. I'm not saying that, but sometimes that's what the fans might say. Mercy could call me, and I'll treat him like he's fucking, like, like, like he's putting on the ether event. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll be like, yo, I'll move for you or whoever got the date first or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's like we not, we're not going to fall into being petty or trying to go tit for tat or assuming that everything is war. You know what I'm saying? Like, like nobody is telling me that. Nobody is saying that to anybody from RBE. Business is business. Nobody owns the lot nice. Sometimes you're forced to land on each other's dates. RBE and King of the Dot has had an event on the same day before. I know it wasn't both in New York. But I'm just saying it happens. It happens. And we're not blasted out the water by it. You know what I'm saying? Like our business model, our booking style, our budgeting, it's all solid. The cars that we put together, they're all solid. You know what I'm saying? We probably got another three cards left for the rest of the year. That's going to put us at possibly six events for the year. We've never done a year where we had more than four cards. So we're about to have our biggest year ever this year. In, in the midst of what y'all see is what seems to be some of the most aggressive moves towards other platforms. That's, that's what a lot of fans say and assume and, and hint at and point at. But all we continue to do is glide along our own track and do us. You know what I'm saying? That's why we could only rub shoulders with but so many. Because we don't want to conform to other people. We want to do what we want to do. You know what I'm saying? We don't want, we don't want to come around it and feel the need to be sun. And that's one thing that we opened up to. Like, nah, you want to do something, go do it. You know what I'm saying? You got an idea, go put it together. You got a dream, go dream it and, and make it happen. Like, why the fuck is everybody so scary? That's the last thing we are. That's why when everybody's wondering, like, how we acting about July 9th, like, we behind the scenes, like, yo, Business is business. Moves is moves. Like, we got a job to do. I know I'm going to be July 9th. You know what I mean? Watch this five crazy-ass battles, possibly six. 
You know what I'm saying? It's part of it's part of the game. It's part of life. It's part of business. Don't automatically assume that everything's shady or everything's about war. Or everything's about drama. You know what I'm saying? After July 9th, y'all are, y'all are all enjoy the controversy. They're going to continue to compare the cards. After mm-hmm. the events are over, they're going to compare afterwards too. They're going to say, "Yo, which event had the better battles of that night?" I'm sure everybody's going to be chiming in like that. But after a week or two goes by, URL is going to be right back to what they're doing, and RBE is going to be right back to what they're doing. In the meantime, everybody gets to say RBE versus URL. You know what I'm saying? And that definitely ain't bad for us. It is not bad for us, despite what y'all might think, because URL is so much bigger. But if everything that we're doing is solid, then if you're going to keep putting us in the same boat and competing with URL as the Mm -hmm. underdogs, that doesn't hurt us. No, so, I agree with that. But, but, I, I yeah. actually said that before y'all came yeah, on. That, is, if that, that was the case, if it was the case, if, that if it you was seen like us that. coming out of July 9th saying, "Oh, oh. my God, like, we don't know what we're going to do now," then it'll be. But no, like, but I, let me give y'all a quick story because y'all know I, I talk my shit. Yo, shop. I'm gonna take them back to the very first car we had. New Year order, right? Yeah. Our very first car was our very first car was snowed out. Swave, Raw, Aver, Goods, Duchess, Bonnie. Big Cannon, Money Bags, Bones Brigante, Flames, all those people get, got paid and paid good. Out-of-town flights, hotels, all of that. There was only like 75 mm-hmm. people in the building, right, for our first event. Averb walks into the door. He comes in. He walks up to me. <laughs> you, you, you know, right? Niggas know what it is. Averb walks up to me, right? He leaves in. He whispers to me like, like, he's like, yo, we good? I didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what you mean? And he looks around the venue. He's like, he knows the card. He knows how many people's on the card and his name is on the card and shit. He's like, are we good? Like, before I get on stage and rap, I looked at him like he was fucking crazy. I didn't even fathom or understand a battle rapper not getting their fucking money. That's not even in our in our, in our in our forte. Like, I couldn't even even fathom what he was saying to me. I laughed at the nigga and told the nigga, what are you talking about? Like, yo, you and Boom's coming up in two battles. My nigga, let's work. And that has never changed from our very first card. Our business is tight. You know what I'm saying? Like, our, our, our approach to the game is tight. We're not stupid people. You know what I'm saying? We don't, we're not going to bury ourselves. You know what I mean? It's right contrary now, to public belief. Yeah. We're not as emotional as people think. Nah. <laughs> we don't make our moves off emotions. Everybody's going to be right back to doing what they're going to do. You know what I'm saying? I would probably have something maybe in August. You know what I'm saying? Uh, another car, the main event for that car, we will be shooting trailer footage in the building. So that means that somebody on Blood, Sweat, and Tears 4 is on the main event of our card after. You know what I'm saying? URL will be back to doing what they're doing. I think they got another car coming up end of July. You know what I'm saying? It's like y'all will all be done with this entertainment, entertainment fact of URL versus RBE. It ain't no URL versus RBE because nobody's going to stop RBE from doing RBE and nobody's going to stop URL from doing them. So everybody just relax. <laughs> just relax. And click up and support what you want to support. That's yeah, it. Just support. That's for everybody. Yeah. There's, there's, you got you to remember, fuck RBE and URL. The battle is on the cards. There's not two, there's not a single battler that's going to be in both plays at the same time. There's, there's different fan bases. There's, Sue Surf has a fan base. Big K has a fan base. You see what I'm saying? Official and QB have fan bases. You know, Shotgun Shug has a fan base. So their fan bases will be coming to see them. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not just about the – it better not just be about the leagues. If that was the case, then we'd be paying ourselves. No. Like I said before, all these battles get paid thousands of dollars because they're, they, they're, they're the artists. They're the talent. You know what I'm saying? They all have bigger followings than me, all of them. If well, anybody's not, coming out to see Shotgun, just send me $20 in. And, you know what I'm right? saying? I won't if you're coming you. out to see me, then, yo, cut me a side check. <laughs> Give me that dub. Give me that dub at the door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yo. Yeah, yeah. You, you. Yeah, we hear y'all. Yeah, we. Oh, okay. Okay, no doubt. So, so it, it seems like y'all more so be competing with yourselves, which I, I respect that, man. I, 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 I don't like even want to say man. that. I don't yeah, even yeah, want to say yeah. that because hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, yeah. because that's cliche. Motherfuckers will always say that shit. We don't mm-hmm. compete with nobody. We just competing with ourselves. 
Oh, that's oh, cliche. I thought that's, that's, what, okay. that's cliche. We not we not saying that. We 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 know that even when we don't try to compete, people will still compete with you because you're gonna have people that's gonna try to you know what I'm saying move you to the side or push around your business or sabotage your shit. And that's to happen. That's happened with a bunch of leagues and a bunch of block battles and all types of shit. Shit that had nothing to do with RBE over the years. We've heard a lot of bullshit behind the scenes, and some even that the fans heard in the public. That had nothing to do with RBE, and some that had nothing to do with you all that team. You know what I'm saying? So don't think that everything's just, I'm going to jump out here like we just compete with ourselves. No. You know what I'm saying? Business is still business, but at the end of the day, we are not attempting to compete with other platforms and leagues. That's our statement. We're not attempting Uh, to purposely compete with other leagues and platforms. If they attempt to compete with us, or they attempt to make moves on us, then mm-hmm. that just shows us where we're at. And I'm okay. humble, mm-hmm. and I appreciate it. I'm humble. All right. All right. ARP, I got to be real. I, so, I got to disagree with you, bro. All right. When you start an RBE, <laughs> nah, but I'm tired of being political, bro. When you start an RBE, bro, you did it because you want an RBE to be number one, point blank, period. No, I don't no, like that. No, 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 Shata, let me get that, let me get that, let me get that, Cats. See, I was going to hear you out because you said you disagree, but if you disagree, then you would have to give me an opinion. But you're trying to replace an opinion with what you are saying is a fact, and that's a false fact. No, well, you I, wasn't, but history, I wasn't done that. If you go through our history, okay, you go through our interviews, if you go through our blog, even Chris blogs on that all the time and says that about us, because I tell everybody that behind the scenes, and I also say it publicly, and I've said it publicly prior. We are not trying to be number one. When you see me speak on leagues, you see me big other leagues up. You see me promote other leagues. You see me do business with other leagues, support other leagues, spend money with other leagues. You see what I'm saying? Uh, it's not to, to us, it's not necessarily about being number one in a culture or business lane where that type of, that type of approach doesn't have any, any, any benefits. You see what I'm saying? URL is in a position where because they have the biggest following, right, when they make mistakes, mm-hmm. when, they have, when they have controversy, when they have bad cards that the fans don't like or bad matchups or whatever, everybody says that they suck and this, uh, this other league is better or whatever. They go through that all the time. You know what I'm saying? It's, and it's, it's not fair to anybody how people will switch. You see what I'm saying? So then at, at that point, what is it worth being number one if another league like Total Slaughter could come in and everybody says, oh, the whole game is shut down? You see what I'm saying? When Total Slaughter yeah, came but, in, but, everybody said the whole game is over. They said URL, Kena.R, every They said everybody might as well just go home, pack it up and go home because it's shady records now. Now what do y'all say about them? You see what I'm saying? So, so – when you look at how the landscape is, you get more rewards from the fans and from your supporters by just focusing on doing you and putting out good product. That's why we consistently try to make our production better. That's why we listen to the fans. When y'all say, cut down y'all long intros, we cut them down every card. You know what I'm saying? All we try to do is I'm make so ourselves better. I'm so glad you're doing that too, man. We, you, but you hear me? That's all, that's all we focus yeah. on doing is trying to make RBE better. Because you don't get no reward or no extra check, like I said, at the end of the year for being number one. And even when you are number one, if you do something that the fans disagree with, they will turn on you for that moment and say, now you're number five. You know what I'm saying? So it's not worth that. It's not worth competing, especially when we're also surrounded by people that's close enough to network with. The battle rap culture is very small. Everybody knows each other. Everybody. There's only, there's only yet two degrees of separation between all of us. You see, we can all get in touch with each other. Ain't nobody, nobody can hide from each other in battle rap. You see what I'm saying? So I'd mm-hmm. rather, I'd rather be able to say, Yo, L, L, Wisdom, what's your date? Yo, Mercy, Gracie, John Doe, who, who, what's your date? All right, I'm gonna do this thing. because then it works for everybody. You see what I'm saying? And then you coordinate with the battlers as such. Some is under contract and can't battle other places anyway, so it still should work out for everybody. Hold on. You don't need to try to be the be the best to be to be good or to be great. You don't have to. It's like building a community. If everybody's selling the same thing, then how the hell is everybody going to fucking make any money? But if you and sell I, oranges, I, I sell grapes. Everybody's going to be able to get something, and then the what? more you build up, then everybody. If, if these battle rap fans are able to go to every event and not feel that they have to compromise, then they get to say, you know what, I'm supporting this one, I'm supporting this one, then everybody starts and, being more lucrative. 
And shout out, to, hold on, shout out to Big K, because I've seen Big K say this before, and I follow the same philosophy. What we do mm-hmm. is we, we make the fans feel the need to choose. These fucking leagues ain't gangs, okay? Y'all, y'all, don't, y'all battlers and some of y'all fans, don't, don't be out here burning your bridges. Like, there's no need to because some of, these, some of these leagues and platforms will be around for many years to come, which means that you could get looks, opportunities, views, and, and money and checks for years to come. Don't burn your fucking bridges. These fuck, I don't care how many times these league owners be calling some of these battlers they fucking brothers because the word is over you, my brother, my brother, my brother. If these battlers couldn't do nothing for those league owners, these league owners wouldn't fuck with them. Okay, they wouldn't book them. Point being, don't feel the need to choose sides. Everybody just do their job. Like, media does not have to choose a side. You don't have to say, fuck King of the Dot because you fuck with URL or vice versa. You can like both. Agree. You can like, you can like everybody's shit. I've watched every I'm – not, I'm not scared to say it. You won't, you won't hear every league owner come up in here because they're scared to indirectly promote other platforms and leagues. Not us. I'll come up here and say – I watch every league, and not just from a business standpoint, but also for entertainment. Big K and Head Ice just dropped today. I was sharing it on my wall, not just to, not just to promote Big K, but because it's a fucking crazy battle. You know what I'm saying? I'm dying to find time to recap Sire Boy versus Chef Trez. Shout out to John John the bullpen. I can't find time to fucking recap that battle. I want to shed light on it because it's that crazy. Shout out to Mr. Mills versus Grand Daddy Perk. I think Mr. Mills just had one of the best third rounds that that league may ever get on their channel. Shout out to that league. I want to promote that league. Because I think they put out a sick battle. So, you see what so, I'm saying? So, like, like, so, you, like, so you're telling me, so, so ARP, you tell me when you hear things like, okay, you, I, 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 URL's off in a contract, but you can't battle on King of the Dana RBE. You don't really care about that you're trying to tell me right now. That has no effect I, on you I'm, whatsoever. I'm, 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 I'm going I'm I'm to tell you, there's, there's only but so many people that I would really care. You know what I'm saying? So many okay. battlers that I would really care. And those are the ones that we've done a lot for. You see what I'm saying? And they've done a lot for us, too, because I don't, if I say anything one side, everybody's going to try to switch my shit. You know what I'm saying? There's only but a handful of battlers that we would feel that way over. Everybody else is entitled, entitled to make their business decisions. We can offer contracts like that, too, and there would be people that would take them. You know what I'm saying? Iron Solomon had a, a three-battle contract. Well, I'm, I don't think he could have did anything else during that time span. You know what I'm saying? On King of the okay. Dot. You know what I mean? If URL has a contract that says you cannot battle on King of the Dot or RBE, I'm, I'm, I, me personally, I'm a little humbled by it. I'm humbled by it like, wow. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's the battler's choice. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's the battle. It's the battler's choice. You know what I mean? Like, like there's a lot of opportunities out here. There's a lot of money to be made out here. If you think that a situation is presented to you and it benefits you, you should take it. And if there, there, there's battlers mm-hmm. that were in contracts and still hit me up and say, yo, when this is over, we got to get in some work. We can go nowhere. So when mm-hmm. it's time to work and when we got a great, a great matchup for the fans, we'll get to it. Other than that, we're going to keep moving. We're going to keep working. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to hear that somebody's business approaches, you know what I'm saying, it, 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 it's supposed to make me upset? Like, hell no. Hell no, because I could, I could approach business like that too. You know what I'm saying? The only thing that we don't want, though, we don't want to necessarily have battlers turning on us where they're not getting what they want in a certain amount of time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and there's so much going on out here, and there's so many ideas that we have floating. Sometimes it takes us months and several cards and even a year to get certain people. It took us a year to get Speed Dollar on, son. And we've been telling him we get you on for a minute. Danny Myers, it took us forever to get him on. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes times don't work out. I don't want to put myself in a position where I'm forced to, to fulfill contracts because then I might force battles and matchups. And I'm not saying that's what other people are doing. I'm just saying I forecast that if I'm in those shoes. You know what I'm saying? I don't want that for RBE. You know what I'm saying? We are a platform. We, we want to work with talented people, give them good looks, and we want to pay them what they're worth. And we want to receive the good talent back on the channel, and everybody walks away happy like, man, that was great business, man. We put on for the culture. We put on for the fans. You can't ask too much more than that. We don't want to ask too much more than that right now. We've been doing fine the way that we are. 
You know what I'm saying? We don't we don't no. claim any type of rank, but a lot of fans put us top three, top five, top ten. Even if you put us top ten, like that, there's like 400 leagues. That's an accomplishment, mm-hmm. man. That's that's a big accomplishment. Even if you put all the E top ten, you know what I'm saying? So why yeah. should we change our approach? You know what I'm saying? Like like we're doing fine the way that we are. We we don't owe anybody money. You know what I'm saying? We're not we're not backstabbing nobody. Nobody's out here complaining about behind the scenes about RBE and and what we owe them and battles that we got to get them, with the exception of one person that we just went through. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But other than that, we do what works for us, and we expect other people to do what works for them. That's it. Okay. Okay, okay. Now I do have I do have a personal question I want to ask ARP. Not so much about you and Rosenberg War. I'm I'm actually off that, but uh, I think I actually think that that what happened was bigger than RBE and Rosenberg War. As a league owner, I actually want to know how you niggas feel about this whole. The, all right, boom. You pay a battler two battle three rounds, right? Yeah. So my question is. Who own like like this is crazy right here like technically if you pay this nigga for three rounds then can you do whatever you want to do with the footage? Are you speaking yeah. about a, a specific situation? No, no I, I just said that. I just said that it has nothing to do with you and Raw. I think I think what happened with you and Raw. I think this is bigger than you and Raw. I mean, in general, as a league owner and battlers, period. If you're gonna get these niggas, let's say you gave a battler three thousand dollars, right, to battle, and he battled, he gave you three rounds. Who? I mean, is there a contract saying you can't do something or or, or what? Because I've been saying for the longest since I first started blogging, I don't even know why battlers come at league owners. You're actually the first league owner who really struck back. So my point of the matter is, like, like, is it your footage? No, no, no. no. I, I've said this before, and I'm going to stay consistent and say it again. It is our footage. It is the league's footage. Exactly. And it is the okay. battle's footage. It, it, it's both of our footage. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Now, okay. technically, and you can't, move, you can't move everything on being technical because then principles come into play. But technically, okay. technically, if you're shooting it, if you're recording it, if you're paying for it, and if you're hiring somebody to, to do a specific job, which is rap on stage while you shoot it, you know, even contracts say you own the footage because if, if your contract doesn't say that, you could have – a, a, a battle of sue you for putting out their their image and their name. You know what I'm mm. saying? So hopefully all all of okay. you want to have that in the contract. We definitely do. You know what I'm saying? Like, but anyway, that's that's a different story. That's just business shit. So technically, mm. you can do whatever the fuck you want with it. You cannot put it out. There's a lot of battles that don't. That's what I'm asking. That's what I'm asking. Yeah. yeah. Technically, you could do whatever the fuck you want with it, but the principal side of it is that you realize that you're working with somebody for a common goal. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, like you're working with somebody for a common goal. You're booking a, a, a artist or a talent to be presented back to the public. Like everybody's end goal. Rarely do you see matches get set up to never come out at all. You know what I'm saying? Ninety nine percent of the time, a league is is booking a battle, and they have all intent to shoot it and put it out to the public because everybody knows even the biggest leagues in the world or the biggest events in the world ain't gonna come even 3% close to how many views can be seen online. You got people, you got thousands of people in Africa that, that's click and play. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to be in the building for your event. You know what I'm saying? So from uh-huh. that standpoint, principles got to come in. Principles got to come in. And that's why people was upset at us for the raw shit because they're like, principle-wise, why would you hurt that man's look? And that was the part that we respected. And that's why I came out and I said, yeah, we could have did things differently. You know what I'm saying? We could have did it different. And the only thing that we was able to really say, which was our honest truth, was like, yo, it was personal between us and Raw. You know what I'm saying? So, but technically we can do whatever the fuck we want, but that's not our intention to do that to battlers because we yeah, all have a common Not goal. saying you we will do it. No, no, no. We yeah, not saying you will do it. We all have a common goal. We all have a common uh, but, goal but I'm to saying... sit down and put, put, put a product out to the public that they could enjoy. That's, that's what it's about. But at the end of the day, it's y'all shit. Is what I'm trying to get at. I'm trying like I'm all kind of like like I said. It's not about you and Raw no more. It's like, I think it was bigger than that because you have mad leagues and mad battlers. So it's just like that no, was and like and a that's, real and that's, big. And that's, and that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Technically, yes. 
the leagues own the footage, and, and if you're smart, it's even in your contract that you own the footage. You know what I'm saying? That's why mm-hmm. you, should, you shouldn't even be you shouldn't even be legally liable if you don't put out a battle because you own the footage. Mm-hmm. That's why. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You see know what I'm saying? That's a good but point. Once again, principle wise, the league and the and, and, and the battle are coming together with a common goal to put together a nice package battle visually mm-hmm. and put it out to the public. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, yes, it's the leaked footage, but that's not the goal. The goal isn't to, to, to be in a mind state of we do whatever we want because we own it. And we, we will never take that position. We will never take that I position. Got you. We, we're never on some old, you know, we do whatever the fuck we want, beat it. Like, nah, hell no. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you're, you're no bully type niggas. But that shit got to nah, be a nah. motherfucker for you stand there. And here, nigga, take shot at you. Like, 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 I know niggas are trying to kill no. you for the Arsenal shit, but it's just no, like, no, man, no, no, listen, no, no, bro. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. Just for the sake of entertainment on this show, I'll break it down even more for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Even though a lot of this shit is behind us. Um, shout out to everybody. Okay. All right, first and foremost. Shout out to everybody. But people have taken shots at me and, and clowned on me and joked on me many times. One of the funniest shits was the big K shit. You know what I'm saying? If he was in the building, I, I shouted out everybody, did a long intro, and then he clowned me before he put it in the bars. That shit was hilarious. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, like, it's like a lot of people have clowned me and joked on me and took shots at me in battles. They can and joked on us for fucking having a card in a strip club and all that shit when we was working in Queens, all types of shit. The Arsenal shit was different once again because, number one, we're talking about street shit. Number two, it totally blindsided me, and that was just the principal side of me. I'm, a, I'm just, I'm a human. I'm, I'm a man at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't think everything got to be tied to battle rap. This is still real life. You know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, I also was a little frustrated because the time limits. You see me when, when he did that, I was in the middle of holding my watch. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Watch 95% of RBE battles. You don't see me looking at my watch. You know what I'm saying? Here we got a main event, an expensive battle. And I feel like we're possibly ruining it because of the time and people cutting each other off and everything. I was frustrated. You know what I'm saying? So mm. I'm human. Like I said, if you scream at me with some street shit, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to forget battle. And that's what any man is going to do. You could be at your place of business, but if somebody disrespects you, you're going to be a man or you're going to be a woman first. Everything can't mm. be about money or business. At the end of the day, a grown man or a grown woman has principles and morals. And that came out of me. I'm gonna do. It. I'm gonna have a better job of controlling that. You know what I'm saying? But that was just real man shit. Like, like, yeah. Jack, what, what would you do if I screamed in your face? Like, yo, John, John, fuck you, would fuck you up, nigga. Well, you, 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 hey, yo, fuck you, hey, yo, fuck you, hey, yo, fuck you. Yo, fuck you, A.L.P. Yo, no, no, you could say anything. Okay. You said John John, fuck you, nigga. Like, I, I, no, no, I'm using, I'm using somebody that I knew you had ties to. I'm, 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 I want you. You see what you just said? You see what you just did? Fuck you, A.L.P. You see the real nigga? Yo, A.L.P. Yo, A.L.P. Yo, I'm standing up. Right now. I was sitting down. Like, yo, you said that you shit. Now I'm hot. Yo, standing up. Like, yo, as a man, as a man, look, 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 that's man shit. It's real man shit, nigga. <laughs> That's what it is. Yo, you got that shit on. That shit got me high. Yeah, yeah. Look, look, look at you. Look at you. You're tight. You're mad right now. <laughs> nah, nah, you stupid, bro. And, and listen, hey, everybody. I'm not saying that's what happened. You know what I'm I don't know nothing. I don't know too much about that situation, to be honest. So. <laughs> Shout out to John John Cap. Nah, I'm, I'm glad that y'all are bro. mature and y'all are past that because y'all are both needed in this game. Real shit. That's real shit right there. Wow. Nah, I feel I feel you comfortable with that shit though, but ah oh, man, let me ask you a question though. All right, so uh, like, when we first seen you, you was like, well, well, we first, well, I want to say we, I right, me, I first noticed that you was at all the events showing support, showing love. Do you still get that same? Did, did you get the same support from everybody else? You was actually showing support too before you started RBE. I, I don't I don't think that we ever fully got it back in return. Um, but, you know, we, we did a lot though, you know what I'm saying, at every event, you know what I'm saying, I remember a Queen of the Ring event, Shata was there, you know what I'm saying, like, matter of fact, fuck, fuck all the E niggas, ask um, Uncle Ryan Heavy Bags, you know what I'm saying, because they have a vaulted interview of us, we came to that shit like 15 deep, 
You know what I'm saying? Matter of mm. fact, Queenslip, Queenslip, Queenslip got that on his channel. Queenslip got a recap of um, the Queen of the Ring event, and the day before that was Massacre um, in Boston, part one. And in his recap, he's joking about that. He was like, yeah, I was there. I seen ARP outside. They rolled up. ARP paid for like 15 niggas to get in. I wasn't going to let him outdo me. You know what I'm saying? So I paid to get in. So he was joking. You know what I'm saying? But real shit. Like, we rolled over to that event like 15 deep. And I called. I called. I sent my I sent heavy bags downstairs to get Debo. Yo, tell me we, we upstairs. I'm not trying to get in for free. I just want some type of package deal. Like, there was 15 of us that I brought over here. You know what I'm saying? Like, me and Shaka brought all the niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, like yo, just give me a number, and I'm going to pay it for all of us. You see what I'm saying? And and mm-hmm. we did that. We, we we did that. You know what I'm saying? Like, we just went. We just flew out to um the Crown 2. It was, like, six of us. You know what I'm saying? We all flew there for the, you know, rented a truck and everything, and like I, like I told you, I was just at Tears Over Tears Friday. Me and Dr. God was there. You know what I'm saying? Dr. God is an official RBE member. You know what I mean? So we still support a lot of events. But we got to remember, it's not always about looking to get something in return. You know what I'm saying? And by the sure. way, I think he shot, shot the drop. You know what I'm saying? So that's why you don't hear him. Like, he dropped, like, because he just called me. So his shit must have dropped off somehow. But anyway, like, you don't, you, you, you can't do things just to expect shit in return. You know what I'm saying? Like, any favors. Or times I look out for people, I don't do it just to be able to say, yeah, I did that for you. If that was the case, then your motives in the first place is fucked up. I'm not that type of person. You know what I'm saying? Like, I do things because I want to do them, and I can do them. You see what I'm saying? If I get them in return, then it's love. And I, I do pay attention to what comes in return and what doesn't. You know what I'm saying? You chalk it up, so you, you create a mental note. You know what I'm saying? But I do it because I want to. Now, because the game is so political and there's so much competition and there is a lot of bullshit, you know, we've stepped back only because we feel that, you know, you know, not only will it not come back, but certain people don't appreciate it at all. So it's like, you know, it's all good. Like, we don't have to be at every event and spend, you know, a thousand dollars to get in worth of people and then put another thousand dollars on the ball and then go home and recap your event and promote your, we don't have to do that. Like, it's, it's all good. Like, like, nobody, y'all don't need us, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all don't survive without us, you know what I mean? So, it's all good. We just chill and we stick to ourselves a little bit more. We're a little bit more selective about who we support like that. That's all. Yeah, it ain't too personal. Okay, okay, okay. I was just saying, because we seen you every fucking way. King of the Dot, like, everywhere you were standing, you were on you stage still, at one point, you know what I'm saying? And the, and, the, and the funny thing is, when it comes to owners, I still might be the most active mm-hmm. owner as far as other leagues. I still might be. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I, I definitely was in the past. But even right now, I still might be the most active owner when it comes to going to other people's events and support. You know what I'm saying? You'd still be hard-pressed to find one or two more, more, more league owners that go to more events than me. You know what I'm saying? Even still, and, we, and we've scaled back. But that's because, once again, we want to. Nobody owes us nothing. We don't owe nobody nothing. You know, we, 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 we just do what we want to do as far as, you know, supporting people. That's all. We're not looking for no type of kudos or pats on the back. That's all. Okay. Okay. I hear you on that one. Let's just kind of feel how you feel about that. Go ahead, Tony. Oh, yeah. Nah, um, <clears throat> the one thing that you said before that struck me was that you you kind of, it seemed like you kind of playing the thing for white, white role. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, certain matchups, when you're talking to somebody, like, look, I know you want that, but this right here would be a better look for you. Do you feel like, do you feel like, um, like, how did you, how do you get to that point where you like, look, I think you should do this, like that negotiation with back and forth with, you know, whoever the battler is and shit, like, how does that, how does that work? Has it been harder to do with some battlers or have you skipped battles completely because they didn't want to go with a matchup that you thought was better? That shit, that shit definitely changes from battle to battle. You know what I'm saying? You got battlers that you could be working with for the first time or they don't know if, if how much you fuck with them. You could be just doing business with them real quick and then you get back at them when there's another business opportunity. And some battlers would be smart to think like that. You know what I'm saying? Then you got battlers, they know. They know for sure, like, this league fucks with me. This league got my back. You know what I'm saying? And you know who those people are when it comes to RBE. Like, we got their back. You know what I'm saying? And they got ours. You know what I mean? Those people are going to be a different type of conversation. You know what I mean? But if I call somebody that's never been on RBE before, 
You know what I'm saying? And, and I have an idea of how to maybe introduce them to the RBE fan base. You know what I mean? And they don't agree. A lot of those battles fall out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Especially if we just get, maybe if we, if we've even done one battle. And now we're trying to get things going. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that might fall out because you don't have to trust us yet, right? At that point, you probably trust yourself more than you trust a league owner. You know what I'm saying? You're you running your own career. I mean, but there's people that we've worked with for a while. Like, I'm pretty sure JC knows I'm not calling him to try to fuck his look up or give him some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. There's certain people out there, like, you see, if you see certain league owners' number pop up on a fucking call ID, you know they got your best interests as well. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's going to be a two way street. Right, so, right. It just depends who you're dealing with. You know what I mean? It depends what type of rapport y'all got. But that comes yeah. in time. I mean, that comes in time. Shit, man. You so do you, you think like some of the um, you know, what do you think about not to go too crazy on the other leagues or whatever? But do you think that's a part of the, the like a problem right now? Like in terms of matches, I'm gonna keep it real. Sometimes some shit comes out of nowhere. And it's like, uh, like what do you do? like? There's no interest for it. So, but you, you know, know, know what? Uh, yeah. Pardon me. But here, but here's the thing. <clears throat> There's, there's, there's matchups that, that happen that fans might not fuck with, and it might just be a business situation. Like, we got to put this matchup together. But there's also matchups that happen that have nothing to do with business. That platform or that league might just really like that matchup. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's the good thing about multiple platforms out, out here. You know what I mean? There's, there, there's literally shit that goes on where you'd be like, I would never do that shit. But there might be fans that actually believe in that, that league's matchup. Like, oh, I want to see that shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, shout out to the league in um in London. I forget their name. But um, when I heard them announce uh, Arsenal versus JC, I scratched my head at that. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I scratched wow. my head at that. Because because to me, the, the matching felt, it felt weird. The style, at that point in Arsenal's career, you know what I'm saying, and that point in JC's career, it felt like an odd matchup. But it could have been a classic, like, and I could have been wrong. You see what I'm saying? So, but that once again, that's the good thing. Like, you're gonna see things on RBE that you will never see anywhere else. You're gonna see things on King of the Dot that you will never see anywhere else. That nobody else is gonna be interested in, and some fans are gonna like it, and some don't. You know what I'm saying? So that's the good thing about. Imagine you had, fuck it. Let's not even say one league. Imagine you had three leagues. Right, give me mm-hmm. three leagues. Just, just, just name me three leagues. Go ahead. Uh, 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 not you, not, not RBE. Take me out. No, take RBE out of it and give me three leagues. Okay. Uh, I mean, URL, King of the Dot, and Queen of the Ring. Okay. Now, do you? How much do you think that you would be missing? Go a whole year. Go twelve months. If that's all the game had, if you didn't have. Gorilla Warfare, you didn't have Don't Flop, you didn't have RBE, you didn't have Trap House, you didn't have We Go Hard, you didn't have Bullpen Battle League, you didn't have Spit That Heat. You know what I'm saying? If you didn't have all these other leagues that put on some great cards and some great battles too, how much do you think that you're missing? Do you think that where Battle Rap is today, if, if the game just said you want to know what, it's just got to be these three leagues. We got we to condense this shit. We got to put leagues in tiers or we got to just stick to – Leagues that's putting on for this demographic, that demographic, and strip it down. You got to have West Coast, you got to have East Coast, and you got to have uh, overseas, and that's it. If that's all you got, right, first of all, you're going to reduce the competition. So these leagues definitely going to feel, they're going to feel the pressure off of them. So they may not even fucking put on 10 events a year each. They may put on three, four. Like You, you, you never know how they're going to react in that type of situation. But think about how many matchups you're going to miss. Some of these matchups have people's personalities written all over them. You know what I'm saying? You want to know an RBE personality type battle? A JC versus a Cyborg. A Big Cannon versus versus a JC. A Mr. Mills versus a Big Cannon. A Mr. Mills versus a JC. These are RBE personality battles. You know what I'm saying? Blood, Sweat, and Tears is RBE personality. Big K versus Show Off. Arsenal versus Show Off. Cortez versus Jens. You know what I'm saying? Matches just like Danny Myers versus Chilla Jones. Like, these, this, is, this is our personality in these battles. There's certain battles that you, would ne- you, you may not see a heavy half in a, in a Rosenberg Raw or a Rosenberg Raw versus a Jay Murdo. 
You know what I'm saying? Or or even a daylight versus oops. You know what I'm saying? That's probably one of the battles that you were saying earlier, like certain leagues drop battles and you'd be like, what the fuck? I'm, a lot of people said, what the fuck when we drop oops versus old red and oops versus daylight. Mm-hmm. But oops versus old red and oops versus daylight are two of the best battles on the RBE channel. Yeah, I agree. You see I what agree. I'm saying? If yep. you don't have RBE, nobody ever puts those two battles together. Ever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So support so support leagues that are different. You know what I'm saying? Like, I actually appreciate being different from other people and people saying I like the way RBE does their shit because that just shows how different we are. You know what I mean? And that's why I appreciate other leagues. Other leagues won't say shit like this because, like I said before, mm-hmm. they're scared to indirectly promote or even shout other leagues out. But I appreciate... URL for even the shit that I disagree with because they've done some battles that I've been like, I hate that shit. And then it dropped and it was actually cool. So I appreciate mm. URL for doing shit that I won't do. I appreciate King of the Dot for doing shit that I won't do. I appreciate Guerrilla Warfare for having the ball to go out there and try to do Hitman versus Shotgun shit because they see it's not happening. I appreciate all these leagues doing different shit. Because as a fan, I'm going to sit back and click fucking play. And if that's not what matters at the bottom line, then y'all are fucked up in the game. Because what has happened is we turn this shit into a fucking clown show. We care, we care about a lot of the wrong shit. The bottom line for a fan is supposed to be a good, entertaining battle, period. That's it. That's what you're supposed to care the most about. And if that's what you care the most about, if you got leagues that's giving you that, even if they got a card with six battles and only two of them are fire, then you got two entertaining Good fuck, good battles to fuck with, click play on, rewind, replay, and what the fuck are you complaining about? It's just content. It's just entertainment. Shout out to all the leagues and all the platforms that's doing their thing and working hard because RBE is one of them. That's it. And as much as okay. motherfuckers be having their little bullshit-ass campaigns and they be saying their little sneaky-ass, faggot-ass subliminals to oh, take shots oh. and tear down other leagues, I still ain't going to get up here and do that. I'm still going to get up here and say shout out to all the platforms and all the leads because you want to know what? I'm entertained by y'all because y'all do shit that I don't do. Mm-hmm. They'll never say that shit. Get another league on, uh, up, up on Angry Fan and say that. It's easy, it's easy to shout yourself out. It's easy to suck your own dick all day. Get another league owner that's going to mm-hmm. get a fucking show and shout other leagues out. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Next topic, please, man. Before I get, I don't want to go. I don't want to go left. Let's start in tears for July 9th. Like I, I don't need the wrong topics to get me in my bag and have me sounding upset up here. Like I'm good. <laughs> Let's start in tears for July 9th. Club drum. Shout out to July 9th. It's a beautiful day for battle rap. <laughs> uh, I definitely hear that shit, man. Well, hey, my nigga, good luck on the event coming up. You know what I'm saying? Definitely and shit. And you got some fire ass battles. That's that's the fact right there. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yo, listen. Get y'all get y'all pre sold tickets ASAP. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody that's already got their tickets. You know what I mean? I see y'all. We watching the event in the event right we watching y'all. Appreciate y'all. But go to R B E B S T four dot eventbrite dot com, cop your ticket. You know what I'm saying? We got I I don't know about whatever else is going on on July ninth as far as business-wise or whatever, but ours, from what I'm seeing, is for the low. From what I'm hearing, is for the low. You know what I'm saying? So a very affordable card, you know what I'm saying? Come fuck with it. Well-balanced, five crazy battles announced. We've been saying way before Irvington Plaza situations that we might be doing a six battle. So keep an eye out. We might do that. We locked in a live performance. If you can't be in the building, go to ragbread.com, cop your pay-per-view, but I think this is going to be the top five battles to go down this year, top five, and that's humbly speaking. So be in the building July 9th at 2 p.m. in Club Drum on Avenue A to see Blood, Sweat, and Tears 4 as RBE does it again, y'all. Shout out to all the supporters. Shout out to a- AFM, man. We appreciate y'all. Real shit. Shot this shit. Shot this shit. Shot this shit.